All right, guys, a disclaimer for the very beginning of this video. The shocks that come with the kit are junk. They're nice metal shocks. They feel nice. I shouldn't say the shocks are junk. The springs are junk. So if I were you, I would leave the original shocks in or order some new shocks or get yourself some stiffer springs because these springs that are on here now when you put it down it just dot drops i put a preload on the springs as far as they would go it still drops okay so especially the cantilever the ones in the rear will go down and they will probably come back up but they will not they bottom out and stay bottomed out Okay, guys, if you want to make this job easier, this is a kind of an afterthought. If you remove four screws, you remove these four screws in the bottom of the um, tub, and the two screws that are in the top of the two screws that are in the top of the roof that go into the shock towers and the two screws on the back of the battery tray kind of hard to see back here okay right in here you can <coughs> lift this frame chassis off but you also have to remove two screws on the on off switch <coughs> excuse me inside the cab okay welcome back to the bench in the last two videos on this f foyer 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 um buggy FYO3 is what I'm going to call it from now on desert buggy I uh, got it for 50 bucks from China now it's about a hundred bucks and <clears throat> it's a lot of plastic tough plastic as you can see from the running video well I seen this thing online for 36 bucks it's a 12428 upgrade access kit red made in China okay well it comes with a bunch of stuff it comes with shocks it comes with knuckles it comes with um, a frame well they're not really a frames on this I mean not a frames but anyway it comes with those it comes with um, rods it comes with bars for the back it comes with a billion parts not quite a billion but quite a doggone few okay so i thought what the heck let's see how hard it is to upgrade to a bunch of metal on this vehicle especially for 36 bucks so that's what we're gonna do all right I like the shocks already compared to the ones that are on here <clears throat> but we got a arms we got all kinds of stuff so let's start tearing it apart and replacing it now comes with hardware now it comes with, I know, Phillips screw hardware. And I'm going to be honest with you, I have tons of hardware. I bought a <clears throat> hardware kit from Amazon that comes with all kinds of hardware. So we'll probably switch hardware 
with um, not using Phillips if we have the right hardware. Okay? Alright, so this thing, 20 bucks, you get psh, all kinds of different sizes. Alright, so let's see where we need to start. And it looks to me like it's going to be a lot of teardown. Now, it's kind of strange because all the hardware that's on this is hex. But the hardware for the updates are Phillips heads. Well, so we'll use the hardware that's already on there. Alrighty then. So, let's tear this apart. I'm going to throw on a little music here while I do this. You can just sit and watch. I may even speed it up when we get to that point. I have some new wheels and tires coming too. A little bigger tires. Some metal bead locks that we're going to put on here also. Now when you take these apart, there's some little pins and little on these hex hubs that you're going to need them when you put it back together. Matter of fact, that one looks like it's bent. We might replace those too with some stronger ones. And some, maybe some metal hex deals here. I don't know if it came with those or not, but I, I'm sure I got some somewhere. Nice to have a little tray to throw everything in, or Tupperware, or glassware, my wife steals my wife's Tupperware stuff. The little bowls work good to hold stuff. Now they make axles and axle shafts for these, but they don't seem to be any better than the ones that are in it. And I don't know, we banged it up pretty good with my grandson and my son and they seem to hold up pretty good so we'll stick with those tell you what if you guys can find yourself something like this they don't make this anymore but i've had this for a long time but it's got torque for screws and i mean i love it it's too bad they don't make it anymore. All right. We got the back end tar off of it. Let's see what we got to put it back on. Okay, these are brackets that go in the bottom here for the sway arms or whatever arms you want to call them. So we'll put those in first. Now if you have trouble remembering where stuff goes, pull out your phone and take some pictures. Alrighty then. Pretty simple. Now let's see, do we have those little brackets? Yes we do. Okay, no we don't. Those are different for something else. I don't know what those are for. We'll see when we get to them. So these brackets are not changed. So these go with the red open ones here. They go in here. Alrighty. Now the other ones replace the links that are on the axle. All right. That was pretty simple. Now shocks. Put the load on them. 
They're not oil, but they are adjustable. They feel like they got oil in them. They don't feel too bad, actually. We'll see how it goes. There's two different holes back here for the shocks. I'm going to put them back right where they were. Probably be easier if you took the front frame off, but man, I don't want to do that. There's a million screws in that bag. So we'll just fight with them. Okay. That was pretty simple. Straightforward. Make sure the drive shaft stays in where it belongs. And if you get it all put back together, you won't have the drive shaft in the right place. You won't be happy. Okay, so far this is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna make sure I can get these shocks in when I got this on. Like that. There we go. And there's three adjustment holes for the shocks in the back too. I'm gonna put it in the middle one. So if you want to tinker with your shock adjustments, you can. Okay, so all the hardware that comes off goes back on and fits so you don't have to use their hardware. All right. All right, looking good. Okay, so those shocks don't feel bad. So the back end of this was not too bad to do. Pretty simple, actually. And all the parts fit really well. 